It's a dream come true for a Luzerne County native. A movie he helped to write and direct made its debut over the weekend at the Sundance Film Festival. Eyewitness News for reporter Kelly Choke caught up with Daniel Madison Savage and his parents tonight. She's here now with what they had to say. Very exciting. Kelly? Good evening, Nick and Candace. The Sundance Film Festival has featured some famous movies over the years. Napoleon Dynamite, Saul, and The Blair Witch Project, just to name a few. Now a man from Shavertown can say his project was part of the largest independent film festival in the nation. And I'm Dan Madison Savage, and we are the writers and directors of Them That Follow. Daniel Madison Savage has spent the past six years working on this project, but he's been waiting his entire life for this moment. The 30 year old from Shavertown made his directorial debut at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival in Utah. Them That Follow explores the religious practice of handling rattlesnakes during church worship. The star studded cast includes comedian Jim. Gaffigan. Walking through the photographers, my whole body was, I just had chills, I was overcome with emotion, and I just felt so excited to share all of the incredible artistry and efforts of all of my collaborators. The film premiered Sunday in front of an audience of about 1,500 people. Daniel's entire family made the trip to Park City, and he choked up when it came time to thank his supporters. Oh, mom, dad, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was just a joy the whole week, I have to tell you. Uh, it was a once in a lifetime thing for a mom and dad. I mean, we were just ear to ear smiles all weekend long. Donald and Kathleen are Daniel's proud parents, although his dad admits at first he wasn't sure what to think about the film. Uh, he told me it was going to be about religious snake handlers. And I thought to myself, oh my God, he's doing a film about the Knox and Rattlesnake Hunt. <laughs> this is, I thought. This could be worse than the snakes on a plane. <laughs> His mom says Daniel has come a long way from watching action movies in the basement with his dad. He understands how difficult this business is, and any opportunity that he's had, he's always been extraordinarily grateful for that. This has been the dream of a lifetime uh, for so many years. I really never thought it was possible. Uh, and I think that my loved ones believed in me more than I believed in myself for a lot of it. The Orchard Film Group picked up the North American rights to them that follow, and Daniel told me he wants to have a screening this summer near his hometown, so we'll stay tuned for that. Live in the studio tonight, Kelly Choate, Eyewitness News. Uh, it's a great story. Just to get your film in Sundance is a major achievement, yes. and then to have it get picked up with possible distribution, uh, that's, that's fantastic. Well, I hope that he does bring it home so we can Be great have night, that right? opportunity to maybe Absolutely, see it. Yeah. yeah, it's exciting.